eggplant parm soup. I started with the eggplants, but I'm gonna start with you guys by putting some onion into a pot. I had to roast the eggplants a while ago so they could cool enough for me to handle them. We'll get to the eggplant in a minute. We're gonna take one large onion, pretty finely chopped, and get it going in our soup pot. Very simple, with just a little salt to draw out the liquid and the sweetness of the onion. Over the shoulder for luck. Okay, let's talk eggplant. You take two large or three small eggplant and you put them in the oven until they literally look like a flat tire. Charred skin, okay, and completely collapsed. Then we have to let them cool so that we can touch them, right? Then we take a little sharp knife and we just start separating that skin. See how it's charred all the way through there? And if a little bit of char stays on the eggplant, that's just fine. It's just more flavor, okay? And we just start scraping away the flesh from the bitter skin. So when we get to this point, okay, then we can take a larger instrument, big knife, all right? Pull that flesh off. See how it's nice and charred? That's gonna be nice and smoky and delicious and super, super tender. And we run our knife through it and you literally paste it. And then just add a little salt and pepper to it. So now, when we get the onions going, and they start to give off a little bit of their juices, we, we know we're safe to add our garlic. About a teaspoon or so of oregano. Dry oregano is fine, give it a stir. And then your choice of salt and pepper, but I am gonna add red pepper to the frico that goes on top. So I think I'm gonna use salt and black pepper for the onion, onions themselves. We already salted a little bit, cut back on that. Put a little bit of pepper in there. We need to cook out that tomato paste first. Then we can add about a cup, two real slow turns of the pan of our red wine. Now we're ready to add Oh, about a half a quart of stock or bone broth. One full jar of passata, three cups of that. And our large can of fire roasted crushed tomato. Boop. And now the star of the eggplant parm soup, of course, is the eggplant. So we're gonna add our eggplants our eggplant paste. So I take a big handful of basil and I tear it right into the pot. Next up, we're gonna do this. We're gonna make frico. What's frico? They're big cheese chips. Here's a giant pile of examples that I've been working on here. All you do is heat a pan over medium, pile in some grated Parmigiano Reggiano, and let it melt and brown at the edges. This will take, for each little haystack or pile, two or three minutes over medium. Again, I can't stress this enough, don't burn it, over medium heat. You just slide a thin, I'm using a fish spatula, underneath, flip it over, and you add a touch of red pepper and thyme. Back over for 30 seconds and you're done. We ladle our soup into shallow bowl. And then you take a beautiful frico, put it alongside. There you go, guys.